So we've been doing drone surveys um, to provide some elevation data to the, uh, the team that are doing a bit more of the survey side of things. Yeah, so there's um, a system for the drone software which I um, overlay which the direction I want the drone to fly and record images. Um, and then there's some software on the computer which we stack the images on. Um, and then that allows me to process that data rather than just having a single image of the, the salt marsh to have hundreds of different images stacked together to get lots and lots of detail. Um, and with that it processes and it can work out elevation data uh, from the differences in the images that are taken. So one of the things that we've learned uh, for whilst doing these surveys is how much uh, salt marsh there was originally um, and how much there could be potentially. Um. Very curious about and this process of holding the memory of history in some ways in 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 the salt marsh. I use the data from the tide and I converting that to sounds. The work that I've been doing it's very related with the concept of synesthesia. Synesthesia is when you can experience more than one sense simultaneously. So, for example, when you can listen to the sound of a collar. So, my way of approaching generative art is just trying to use this technology to emphasize uh, some hidden aspects of nature.